In this episode of the Android Video App Tutorials series, we're going to learn how to add a texture view to our relative layout. The texture view is going to be used to display the preview on our display screen for our, cam our video camera. And also we're going to work out how to calculate the dimensions of that preview size as well. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. Okay, so we want to add a preview display to our, uh, to our relative layout. So far we've just got a couple of buttons, so let's get started. Okay, so I need to go to my lay layout file here. Open that up. Now I'm just going to select the design tab down below. Let's see if I can get a bit more screen space here. Okay, so I want to add a texture view. Basically, a texture view is going to be used to hold my preview. So I need to find the texture view. There it is there. So it's just a matter of dragging and dropping it there. There it is there, but you'll notice that it's now over the top of my record and camera capture buttons. So well, you could change this in code, or you can just drag this up as such. You can see one button, so we need to drag it up just one more place. So it's a little bit fiddly. When I say a little bit, I mean very fiddly. There you can see it now. So I've got the preview in the background of the two buttons. One point to notice is that we've got a bit of a padding around there. I want to remove that padding so I've got the full preview showing on the application. Okay, let's go back to text. And as you can see, the texture view up here is up top, so it's actually behind the buttons as such. And one point to note here is the ID that it's a texture view, because we're going to be referencing that and the code as such. Okay, now you'll notice that we have padding. Let's get rid of the padding. So the padding here is sitting in the layout, padding bottom left top. So let's delete those. Save that. Now we can go back to the design tab, and there we you just saw it there. It's just now um, encompassing the entire display, which is what we want. Okay, now let's go into the source file itself. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to create a texture view that references the texture view in the relative layout. So we need to create a texture view member here. I'll just call it member texture view. It does represent our preview. Okay, underneath that, I'm going to create a listener for our texture view. When we set up texture views, they just they take a while to inflate and become available to our application. They're not available straight away. So one way of being notified when they're available is to set up a surface listener, a listener for that. So we're going to create a member for that listener. And it's a surface texture listener. I'll just call it M. Try and use the full name here. Okay, now I'm going to create an object for that. As such. Okay, so, so there we, we have it there. Basically, if we look at the first overridden method on surface texture available, it means it's available and also provides us, this is quite important, we're going to be using this, the width and the height of the texture view as such. Okay, so I've created those two members there. Now let's go into the onCreate member and reference the texture view in the layout. So call our texture view. I'm going to need to put a cast on a texture view. Call find, find view by ID. It's r.id.textureView as such. Okay, that's 
that's now done. Okay, now I want to check to see if our text review is available when we start up our application. And a good place to do that is on the on resume method. So I'm going to create, uh, override the activities on resume method. And with this method, we do need to call it super constructor. Okay, now we want to do a check to see if the text review we created is available. And it's got this method here is available. So I'll just set up some brackets here. I'm not going to do anything further in this moment in time. But if it's not available, we're going to call our listener just like this. So we're going to set the surface text to the listener and then pass in the surface text to the listener that we created as a member before. So we can expect when the application first starts up, our, our text review is not available. It's still got doing inflation and setting up and initialization parts. So what will happen is we're now calling a callback. Please tell me when the text review is available. And Inside here, this will be called. Um, this will be called when it's available. So let me just put a toast in here, just to notify us when our text review is available. So let's just put a. Let's just put a um, notification and a toast, notifying us that the view is available. So I'm going to have to get the application context down here, and I'll just put some basic text. my spelling and finish off set a link short and show that toast okay so we want to get notified when our text review and we'll get a little pop-up box this is just for this development phase of the application okay what I want to do now is I want to run this in debug mode and um, explain to you how our text review might not be available and look to see how the surface texture available listener or the text review available listener um, runs. Okay, so let's put a breakpoint here for our debug mode just to see if the text review is available or not. And we'll put one inside here as well. And I'll also demonstrate we can, how we can see the width and the height of our preview as well. Okay, so let's run that in debug mode. Okay, the debug's now started. We're in this line here. Is texture view available? Let's step down and see what happens. Okay, it's gone straight to the else, so the texture view is obviously not available. And here we are setting up a surface texture listener. Let's run that. And now we've gone into the toast. So the surface surface texture is available, texture view is available and we've got these arguments here if I put my mouse over here you can see the width so the width is 1080p um, HD and we've got the height as well which is 1920 so I know that that's the full dimensions of my display for the Nexus 5X phone so that's what I'd expect and those values are quite important now what those values are what I'm going to use to calculate my video camera size and my camera capture size as well as the preview display itself because the camera inside itself has got a whole lot of values so I just have to match the ratio as well as the dimensions to um, get the values off the camera that I want as well. So that's it to this tutorial. We learned how to add a texture view. We also learned how to know when our texture view is fully available and fully initialized, i.e. it's got width and height. So we learned how to use to set up a surface texture listener for that, as well as the on resume method, um, demonstrating that during the application startup. Anyway, that's it to this tutorial. Um, if you want to get notified of following to episodes to this tutorial series or my other tutorial series that I work on as well, click on that subscribe button. 
And if you want to keep up to date with all the latest changes I've made, you'll see that I've got Facebook, I've got Google+, I've got Twitter, and I've got Pinterest accounts as well. So you can click on and follow those accounts. And please note that I've got my website above as well. And that website above, as well as the video, also contains the details of GitHub when the code changes get uploaded to the GitHub repos. And it's also got uh, descriptions of the changes I've made as well. That's all for this one. Bye for now.